Hello and welcome to episode 20 of our Greedy Grin campaign. In the last episode, we finally came to blows with the command and were able to take 100% war score, taking a lot of land inside the Eastern Serpent Spine for ourselves, uh, including up to the hold of Tuad Dubin Khan, in which we have freed our goblin homies here, and they are now underneath our control, which is rather nice. Uh, we do need to bring our troops back over to our territory because... Well, they're not here right now, and they need to be home because they're not doing us any good hanging out in uh, the command's territory. Now, we did come across a very uh, unfortunate reality at the end, which is that the Raj has decided to annex both the Phoenix Empire and Katarata. So we are completely, completely hug boxed in, which is not great. Not going to lie, not great. Uh, so in order to kind of counteract that, we're going to go ahead and ally Booslar because they want to ally us and I need more friends. I don't care if this puts us over Diplo relations at all. I'll happily pay the Diplo. Uh, I can start looking into annexing some vassals over here. Sarian's going to take too long. As you saw, it takes like 30 years to annex Sarian. So that's not a realistic option for us. But the other ones, we could uh, consider it. Now, we do have a truce with the Raj until 54, I think? Yeah, 1654. So we have some time to kind of chill out and prepare. I think that's the best word I can use for it. We need to prepare for the future wars with all of these guys by beefing up our defenses to the next level. Also, we are getting rid of the Zaka rebels before they enforce their demands. Would be a good idea. Uh, so we're going to kind of spend some, some money on buildings and see what we can do there. I would like to, at some point, maybe go after Abdel Ludum. They don't have any allies, so it'd be a rather easy war for us to do. The only thing I'm hesitant about is that if we go up here and take, say, Hol Jorkad, we then have to defend Hol Jorkad from the Phoenix Empire or anyone else. And that's not the easiest thing. If I have to fight over here, against the Raj and over here against the Phoenix Empire at the same time? I'm not loving that. Now, the other option is to declare war on Raj and Haga here and fight the Raj and Bim Lao at the same time. If Dai Gung wants to join us in that war, that may be something I look into in order to break the Raj's alliance with their two new friends in the West. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. That's right now. We need to let our troops get home, and we need to build some buildings. So, let's see, H Whip Kings, we have enough of those. Okay, we have some really good workshops that we can build. So let's get those built up. How's our governing capacity looking? We're looking just fine. And let's build that workshop. And look at all these training fields we can build. We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things that we can take advantage of right now. Uh, we are also deepening our capital right now, which is cool. Very nice. We do need a debate in Parliament. Uh, we'll go for advisor cost. Sure. That's fine. Okay, combine you all together. Uh, you need to continue up to here, because we're going to have to deal with rebels at some point. Uh, deification of our last ruler. Nice. So make sure that we are in a position to do that. Uh, as Kasurian rebels as well. And you're over here. Cool. So you'll deal with those rebels and we'll be good. We'll be good. There are a couple more things we have to core up. Awesome. That is all of them. Uh, Nepotism in the Artificers Guild. I would love some development. Can I afford to lose that loyalty? Yeah, I think so. Uh, also, we're going to do something quite dramatic here. Uh, when I have 100 admin points, we're going to stop getting rid of the dwarves. There's no reason to do that anymore. It's unnecessary. Wow, look at that devastation. Uh, we should... I mean, I kind of want to build a fort here to get rid of the devastation. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. I may not want to, but it is the correct thing to do. Because we're not going to get a lot of trade power if it's devastated. 
And that's what I need out of those provinces. All right, let's improve with you and with you. That way I can get to annexing you. Uh, we might want to scudage Sarian again. I'm not sure. It wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. I also need to consider doing an expedition. You know what? We'll just do it. We'll do it right now. Uh, miner's pocket. Expedition menu. Miner's pocket. Silver and medium. Okay. That's not too bad. Then I will send 10,000 men. We will up morale. I think just a little bit. Yeah. Seven. 115 organization should be fine. To be perfectly honest with you. Do that. Set party share to 100. They should get through that pretty easily. Let's send them off. Hope we get some good money out of it. All right, our spell is done. So we're just going to save money until we re-elect and we get a... Uh, do the follows the cat. Because they will do much better when it comes to building. We get some seriously huge building reductions. Which would make our lives way better. Way better. Also, we do need to get rid of this devastation in the mountains. I'm not sure why everything's so devastated. Why are you devastated? I don't know, but you are. Uh, Segdir is dig level four. Cool. Yeah, like, see, this is this is unacceptable. Uh, one way we can go about it is just to build, like, level two forts on these spots. Just, uh, Kind of plug the gaps of where we're getting devastation. That could help out. National tax for unrest? Sure. I'm fine with that. Also, we do have a mithril province that I want to develop. So go ahead and encourage development here. It is absolutely worth it to develop this. How are we doing on mill tech? Okay, we're fine. It is absolutely worth it to build this because it's worth a lot of money. Even if it is on... Uh, Maybe not the best province. It's a cave. It is worth. Do I want to re-elect here? Yes, I do. I probably just want to re-elect this guy for... For forever. Until he dies, at the very least. Okay, you can start drilling. Make sure all of our troops are drilling. You go take those out. You can come up to meet them. Beautiful hold? Absolutely. We love a beautiful hold. We may not be dwarves, but we still like beautiful holds. Do not get me wrong. Still for us. And a mission is apparently completed. Destroy the chains. Hull as Krakazol is ours. Having taken control of the most of the Tree of Stone and showering, er, showing more goblins the truth that wealth is best, we now border a so-called slave state of the Hobgoblin Command, which views goblins only as slaves while seeking out military power. Their discipline will be buried beneath our coin. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Uh, the event Defy the Command happens, and for 10 years, we get 10% morale of armies and 15% manpower recovery speed. A permanent claim on some territory. Uh, the Command, having realized that it borders on us, has sent a group of hobgoblins to put us in our place. From their point of view, we are nothing more than subordinates and should become a slave state under their rule. We should show them that their orders have no power over us, and we will defeat them. Our levies are gathering and are all in full support for a war against the Command. Well, great news. We have a truce, so it didn't do anything. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. I was kind of hoping that it put us into another war, but that's okay. Uh, we do need to repair this, and we will. When we have money through the cat and whatnot. There's no point in doing it now. No point in doing it now. All right, you can go ahead and drill. Cover manpower, make money. Uh, get some more professionalism going. I mean, nothing wrong with just chilling out, right? Recruit some generals here while we still have good army tradition. Uh, unfortunately, we can't roll marry any of you. And who do I even want to annex first? Oh, Segdir Hold Specialization. Uh, let's go for... Honestly, that trade power is kind of nice. Here. It's plus one goods produced compared to plus 0.5, so we're going to go Artisan. Also, we're really slow on digging our hold. We should probably already have our hold maxed out at this point, but... I mean, it is what it is. 
sometimes you're not going to get the most optimal of uh, situations, and that's okay. Flatness creature. Gain the loot, please. We could do some other wars, like against Red Stallion and whatnot. Like, we could go take this and add it to trade companies up here. Uh, I'm not totally against that idea. Because, like, none of the centaurs are strong enough to do anything about it. I am a little worried about getting a border with Grombar, though. Uh, that guy, Grombar is doing very well this game. But if we don't take this, then Grombar will take this. So we might as well take it first, right? It won't cost many ammo points. I don't need that many troops. We'll just send these guys on over. And we'll, uh, we'll take what we can up here. Just add trade companies. Try and steal as much trade as possible. It'll be good. It'll be good. Uh, we could rebuild some golden highways, too. You know what? We'll do that. So, rebuilding the golden highways. Have we done that before in this campaign yet? We have not. But there are examples around. So, the golden highway is, in lore, a road network that starts in Bursan and goes all the way over to Tianlu over here in the east. That was created by the Phoenix Empire. The original Phoenix Empire, not this fake one. Uh, created by Jahair. And it was kind of like the central artery of the entire empire. But when that empire fell, it all fell apart, except for this section here was maintained because there's a lot of trade up and down the uh, Kuranyana River. And if you do restore it, you do get some bonuses. 10% uh, local trade power, 4 supply limit, 25% friendly movement speed, and 25% institution spread on each of those provinces. So it's not bad. It does cost a lot of admin points and a lot of money to get started and every province will cost you more to do uh, like it will cost another like 50 crowns there you go to fix them but it is worth it to do uh, it gives you more trade power and that movement speed is very nice it's very nice now we do need to get a little bit more uh more admin points to do the other one but it is well worth it in my opinion to do that even if we do fall behind on this tech a little bit i think that'll be fine uh let's go ahead and get rid of any edicts we have on yeah like these encouraged developments we don't we don't need those we don't need grazim deer all these can be turned off while we kind of chill and wait no edicts no edicts very good all right red stallion let's go ahead and declare anti monster cb on you Whenever I get a Diplomat back. Take it. Give me the loot. Thank you. It's like none of these guys are strong enough to really do anything. Some of them are guaranteed by Gomoport, apparently. <laughs> what? Huh? Gomoport made it over here? Gomoport is a New World nation, an alien tier nation. as their capital here. Weird. Also, I think this is the first time I've taken a look at uh, alien tier and... Uh, that's a very scary Laurent Alentir. It's a very scary Laurent Alentir. They're doing really well this game. Alright, Red Stallion. Clear anti monstrous. I'm not worried about it. This will be a pretty easy war. If anything, they'll be lucky to survive more than two months. As we immediately take their capital. Yep. And there we go. That falls, and... You can't say no. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't say no. It's 100% war score. You don't get a choice, my friend. You don't get a choice. Uh, do I want to go to war with Verdant Bliss now? I mean, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. Yeah, we might as well. Like, this is definitely going to hurt our admin, but... Oh, well. I like land. Could allow me to get in here and grab the rest of this trade node at the very least. And maybe even grab some in here. If I get a border with Curing Your Leg over here, then I can get a border with Tiger Bane. And then if I get a border with Tiger Bane, then I can annex all of this. And... This... And then I can go to Gokullus from this direction. And then I can go to War with the Phoenix Empire alone. 
instead of with uh, the Raj. So there are a couple paths forward that we uh, could take here with splitting up this hug box. But we definitely cannot fight the hug box as it stands. That is not an option. Didn't get manufacturers. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. Deification. Take this fight. Should be a stack wipe. Ride forwarders. forward. We have unlocked a new uh, cult. A noted leader of the Spider Wretch clan was captured weeks ago by a battalion of beastmen in a slaver ambush. Today, that leader has returned, changed, and with a flame in their heart so powerful it can be seen through their eyes. They spoke a word to no one for days and were seen staring out at the endless plains of the centaurs almost longingly. This was how they were before they disappeared once more. A battle occurred just recently. An expeditionary force of goblins hoping to reclaim the depths of a local shanty town were met with an assault by our own feral kin, led by a familiar general at the back of a massive spider. Our feral kinsmen followed the general's commands and cries with a fervor unnatural to goblins, riding forward on spiders fueled by the promise of a glorious afterlife. The ensuing battle leveled the town and left hundreds dead, along with the general. Though dead, he remains immortal, with war dogs and spider jockeys charging in his name before crashing into glorious combat, fighting to enter the same glorious afterlife that they and their shamans, the survivors of the great battle, wished to enter. We ride to war. The cult Kravi Osnad is now a thing that we have access to. All right, increase of hobgoblin tolerance. It's fine. It's even good, I would say. It's even good. All right, what do I want out of this piece deal? So, I'd like to grab this because it's in another trade node. I want all this because it's in my trade node and I want to border with them. Grab the rest of that node. And some money. Yeah, looks good to me. Because we're not going to be able to build any, uh, like, forts up here or anything. It's not worth defending. They'll just fall immediately. So, you know, you got to be a little careful about things. Who did that just say the Phoenix Empire is planning to attack, by the way? Probably should have looked and paid attention to that. Not me, right? That'd be insane if they did that. I'd, I wouldn't mind, to be honest with you. Well, it would be very unexpected, but I don't want to get caught out and get a jump scare from a war deck. Maybe I just caught their spy? Oh boy. I really shouldn't click on events that quickly. <laughs> I really should read them. That's the whole point they're there. It's to let me know what's going on. No, there's no way they declare on me. No, 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 no. I've got too many troops and I'm ahead on Miltech. Ain't no way. The Magisterium is going to attack Sesteronde, though. Now I'm all nervous. What are they, they going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, they own stuff up here. Okay, don't take the money then. Minus 17. Can I walk up here? Yeah. Some of you can. The rest of you can move back. We're done. We're done with our little adventure. Come on back. I would rebuild the Golden Highway, but now we need admin to uh, core things. go. Now they're on low. They still say no. I can't get over here. It's alright. Uh, I don't have taking war score either, do I? I sure do not. Can I have access? Please? Please, oh please, oh please. Thank you. Let's grab that. Offense or defense? Uh, give me that siege ability. We are gobos. We don't necessarily defend, but we sure do like to attack. We sure do like to attack. Also, because we're at war, our troops are actually cheaper to build. So... We can build a bunch more troops. For much cheaper than we should be able to. If we were at peace. Just a cute little fake war to uh, get that rolling, I guess. There we go. And they'll give me some money. Awesome. Thank you. I no longer need access. I'm sure they'll cancel it at some point. I'm sure they'll dispose of it at some point. Okay. Uh, everyone move on to that siege. 
You guys make your way back. Serpent's Gift, you're getting added to Trade Company. I don't know if this will give me enough for a merchant or anything like that, but we'll make an attempt at it. You will get added as well. Uh, no. Not even close. But it gives us a little bit. Tiger's Bane is going to be our, our biggest threat. Actually, I was going to go to war with you, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. I don't have a CB. Oh, you're not a monster anymore. Okay. Build a spy network and get a claim. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Orcus refugees. Okay. Yeah, because then we can... And grab this and maybe even get some from the ogre steps but more importantly get aboard with tiger's bane so i can sneak down in here and annex them bug bears yeah bug bears bugged bears but the bugged bears side with us this time wow i see how it is Sarian. uh the saran floods the rivers of Bulwar are the second greatest blessing Sorael gave his people only after the blazing sun in the sky above. The great Saran and mighty burn and transform an arid land into a fertile cradle, driving desert along with starvation back as much as Sorael beats back the darkness. Well, we don't believe in, in that since we're goblin cult, but essentially what just happened is the entire river just got 25 devastation uh, along it because it flooded too much, which honestly doesn't do much to us. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, that's the extent of the damage was Azkasur and Sar Sardazar. Uh, the rest of it, though... <laughs> yeah, the rest of it took it a little bit harsher. A little bit harsher. Why do I have 86? I have so many questions. I have so many questions about how this country is working. Uh, rebuild the Golden Highway. Don't pause constructions. Make defensive preparations from the orcs. Pull back from you. Uh, stop he who in the... Stop he who in the dwarves. Okay, let the poor dwarves... Leave them alone. Just leave them alone. Here we go. Now we'll annex you. We'll be done in seven years. Alright, uh, you need to drill. Awesome. Spy Network's almost done. We'll send another half out here. Golden Highway Construction. Absolutely. We will do that. Splendid advancement. Take that tech. Election. Uh, how old's our Gabo? He's 46. Yeah. I think we just re-elect him until he dies, and then we switch over to a... Uh... Open the cavern for all. Always. Then we switch over. Don't need that discipline or manpower recovery speed right now. So we'll pull back on that a bit. Beautiful cavern profits. And that is why you always open the cavern for all. You will get more money out of it. You will get splendor out of it. There's no reason to uh, shut it off for only yourselves. No reason at all. All right, are you still a monster? No. So we're going to need to build a spy network on them, too. All right, where's your capital? Are you serious? Can I call you into this? Man. That's so far away. <laughs> That's so far away. What do you mean? Uh, whatever. We'll go up there. Those 18,000 troops are going to go on a little adventure. <laughs> a little one being a very long one. A very, very long one. Okay. Uh, we'll probably be able to get access to these guys. Don't need to keep improving with you. It's fine. Yeah, look at that. We are instantly sieging things down. Three-day siege ticks. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, Brooklyn Koznad, unfortunately, has taken stuff outside the mountains. Boo. Gross. It's already bad enough that you're inside the mountains. Now you're outside, too? Ugh. Do that. Alright, I think we can split up into even smaller stacks here. All of you can start making your way back. 
Uh, let's get a spinal work built on these guys. Just keep drilling. Don't stop drilling. Need to drilling. Do I have access to you? No. Then I will ask. Can I vassalize you? Oh, interesting. I could. I could vassalize you. Golden Highway, yes, please. Also, if you can't afford that Golden Highway, it will just pause your progress. And then you can just go back in here and, and restart it. So, if you're worried about, like, oh man, I, I'm running out of money, I don't have the money. There was like a 30% chance that passed. I'm running out of money and I can't afford the Golden Highway right now, but I still want to build it. You're all good. Just a little bit of pausing. Which is nice. <laughs> it's nice it doesn't just delete everything. I have access through you as well. Yes, I can. Alright, now I want to cancel access through you because I'm over my Diplo relations. We're good to go. Uh, is there anyone else that I want to fight around here? I mean, yeah. Kinda. Like, I... I I can't expand right here right now, so I might as well focus on over in here. Deification. Good. Good. Take that. Give me that governing capacity. Thank you very much. All right, you're just going to make your way up towards their capital. And we're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Then we get to decide, do we poke the bear that is Grombar and take land next to Grombar? Or do we not do that? I think the correct answer would be not doing that. Considering a war with Grombar would be a very painful one. Very painful one. And I've got enough enemies. No matter what I do, though, he, he ain't going to be happy. He's not going to be happy with me. But maybe we'll just stick to our lane here. We'll just stick to this trade, no trade node and maybe we can be friends from a distance. From a very far, 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 far difference distance and he leaves me alone and I leave him alone and we leave it there. It sounds like a great relationship to me. The perfect relationship with ground bar you could possibly have. Right, we are at max manpower, which is pretty cool. Uh, I could get rid of more access. Please. Cancel military access with you and I think I still have it with you as well. Get rid of those separatists. Won't even be a problem. Uh, we've grabbed their capital, so they're at 55% war score now. I think it's you that I have access through. Yeah, cancel that. Okay. I just want these three provinces. That's it. And money. And war apps. Do you have a fragment? No, okay. Why are you saying that I have a fra <laughs> You don't have a fragment. Don't tempt me like that. I thought you had a fragment of the crown. I wanted it. There we go. What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. I'm going to ignore it and pretend like I didn't do anything. I sent a colonist somewhere. Where did I send my colonist? Where'd he go? Where is he hiding? There you are. Right here. No. <laughs> no settlement growth allowed. Alright, Tiger Bane. Sorry, bud. Nothing personal. It's just business. It's good business. Also, Grumbar, please don't please don't kill me. Or hate me or fight me or do any of those things. You can come back now. Uh, we should improve with Busalar. Since we are allies and they don't necessarily, mm, what's the word, uh, like me at all. <laughs> Does tend to be an issue when you're trying to be homies. I kind of need them to like me if I want them to defend me. So, start improving their relations. Ah, reject the reform. What's our inflation at right now? That's ah, two. Not even that bad. Uh, we'll win this, because they're way behind on tech. 
select uh, embarrassing brillite invention. Okay. It is what it is. Sometimes you gotta crack some eggs to make an omelet, you know? Those brillites make me spark drive rifles. I'll forgive them for making some weird stuff and making mistakes. It's okay. I'm a simple man. Uh, also, how far away are we from getting this culture rare? We're close. We're close. Very, very close. How strong are our wizards right now? All right. I could give them some privileges to make them stronger. Hmm. Yeah. Because if I can get them above 33 influence, and I can get them into uh, medium spell strength, which would give me minus 20% on aid constructions instead of minus 10%. Which is pretty huge. So we may do that. Summon diet and uh, give them reduced research regulations for just a moment. And then we'll take it away. Okay, we're not going to be able to get a full annex here. That's okay. We'll survive. Give me some land. There we go. Awesome. Let's add this state over to a tree company. And I'm not sure we're going to have to add this one. We'll see. All right, you stay here and deal with rebels. You go here and deal with rebels. You're going to stay here. And let's core all that up. I think that's good for our little bits of uh, expansion there. Drill, Splintered Advancement, Drill. Are you still a monster, actually? No. So you get a spy network built on you now. So we have these two provinces, so I can go fight Gokalis, which means fighting Phoenix Empire again, which we all know uh, we don't want to do. It's complete. No. Stop running settlement growth. And the expectation returns. Great. I honestly thought they were going to die. But cool. 447 ducats and 149 of each monarch point. And we found the Citrine of Segdir. One of the greatest holds in all Dwarov, Segdir contributed a great Citrine gem to the Dwarvacron as a gesture of good faith, a symbol of wealth and commerce. It was lost in the waning days of the Dwarven Empire. With it now in our hands, our claim to rule the middle Dwarvar will surely be looked upon more favorably by our prospective subjects. To wealth beyond measure. 2.5% trade efficiency until the end of the game. So this is part of the Dwarvacron, which is the old... Uh, like regal crown of the old Dwarven Empire. And if you find all of them, you can actually reform the the crown, uh, which is pretty cool. So and you even look and see who has what. So right now we have the Citrine. Abdel Ludum has the Sapphire and the Diamond. Uh, Orlizam Azdir has the Crown and the Ruby. Kugdir has the Agate. And Virko Kozanad has the Amethyst. And Jade March has the Jade. And essentially what that does is it will give you double the bonus of every single one of these gems. So in this case, we give us 5% trade efficiency. There's one for trade efficiency, improve relations. Uh, that's another check me off the top of my head. I think national tax is probably in there somewhere. Uh, but it, it's pretty good to get. It's a late game thing, though, since you do have to take it off of Jade March. Now, it is a peace deal, as you saw with the uh, Kill and Your Leg, I think it was. You can actually demand it in the peace deal for like 40% war score. If you don't want their land. Uh, you do still have to get a CB though. You don't get a CB for people owning it. But you can. Can't take it from them. It's pretty sweet. Well. Unless you know. You're the one that's getting taken from. Alright. And we have officially entered into. Uh, the danger zone. <laughs> As we no longer have a truce with the Raj. So the Raj could attack us and call in all the homies. And we would be in for the fight of our lives. So let's try to avoid that, maybe? If possible. I don't even know what the best way to go about it is going to be. Yeah, that would not be great. Even if I get Dai Gung in on this, I don't know how helpful they'd be. To be honest with you. Like they probably fight beyond Fang, and then I'd be left to fight the Raj and Keterada and the Phoenix Empire all at the same time. 
mean, Kenarata might get distracted with Busalar, but not into any way that matters. Even if one of them focused on me, I think we would struggle. So, I think our best course of action is to go and gun for Gelkalos before they get vassalized. Because that's what the Phoenix Empire is doing right now. And then try and 1v1 the Phoenix Empire. Which, uh... Yeah, that doesn't sound great. <laughs> we, we all know what happened last time I fought them, and it was not a great time. Uh, but let's see, because we are out of time for today. Very much out of time. Uh, so I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.